Thompson here from the Rock and Chair Company .com. I'm going to show you today how to put together one of our ready to assemble rocking chairs. Now, a lot of folks don't know what does ready to assemble mean. Ready to assemble, knock down, partially assembled. There's a few different terms for it you may see on our website, but they essentially all mean the same thing. And I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like here in just a second. Now, I also hear a lot of folks say, Bill, I can't put together a rocking chair. Let me tell you something. Yes, you can. It is very easy, and I'm going to show you why right now. Now, you can see that the back, the seat, and the front of the chair are already put together. All we're going to be doing today is using the spindles, the arms, a few screws and nails and some glue to put everything together into the finished product and then attach the runners on the bottom. What's included in this kit? Screws, nails, glue, instruction manual. What's not included that you will need to assemble the chair, electric drill, rubber mallet, hammer, eighth inch drill bit, and a Phillips head screw bit. Okay, we've got our chair back, four spindles, chair front. We're going to put glue in these four holes. Pour a little bit of glue in and then work it around the inside of the hole to ensure maximum coverage. Important note, we have two different types of spindles here. We have two with no holes, no holes go on the bottom. And we have two with pre-drilled holes with an indention on one side. Indention, no indention. Now we want the indention to be pointed towards the outside of the chair. We want the indention pointed outward like so because we're going to be drilling upwards into the seat. And when you're ready, grab your mallet and start knocking the spindles into the back. If any of the spindles don't fit, you can get some low grit sandpaper to sand down the points that fit into the back piece. And now we're going to take the seat front and put glue into the holes just as we did the back. Now, admittedly this is easier to do when standing in front of the chair, but I doubt it would be very helpful if I just stand directly in front of the camera. So you're going to take the chair front Make sure it is right side up, and then line up the holes. Once you got the holes lined up, give it a quick whack with the mallet. Now that that's done, we'll flip the chair right side up, put the seat down in like so, and then we'll be drilling pilot holes for our screws up through the pre-drilled holes in the spindles into the bottom of the seat. Important note, make sure that the spindle is at the angle described earlier. If you drill straight up, you're going to drill through the seat. And once you've got your holes drilled, put your screws in the seat and we're ready for the arms. Following the same procedure as earlier, take our glue and pour some into the hole on the arm and put a light coat on the small part of the arm that connects into the back. Once that's done, Give it a good whack with the mallet. Okay, folks, almost done here. Now, we're going to drill through the pre-drilled hole in the arm into the leg of the chair to make room for our screw. And once you got the hole drilled, go ahead and put in the screw. And following the same procedure, We'll drill through the pre-drilled holes on the back of the chair into the arms to make room for our screws. All right, now that we got the back screwed in, we're gonna put on the runners. Take the chair, turn it over, grab one of the runners, as you can see, the runner has a hole in the front, a hole in the back, and the longer portion goes in the back. So, we're going to flip it over, line up the holes, 
And once it's in place, tap it down with the mallet. Now, sometimes the chair legs don't line up with the holes on the runner. If this happens to you, do not panic. It's completely normal. Simply use the mallet to knock one of the chair legs forwards or backwards as needed. All right, now that the runners are on, get your hammer and your nails. Follow the inside of the chair leg straight up and put a nail straight through the runner into the chair leg to secure it. Repeat this on each chair leg until both of the runners are secure. And we're finished. Now, I can't tell you how much I love it when a chair comes together. Now, I hope this video has been informative. Remember, every chair is going to be just a little bit different, but all the basic principles we covered in this video will still apply. If you have any questions at all, please contact our customer service. Let us help you find the chair you've been looking for. Join the RockingChairCompany.com family and you'll be sitting pretty in no time. Bill Thompson here. We'll see you next time.